you guys, I have a battle of the boxes. This is Boxy Charm and Glossy Box. So um, this one is a little bit deformed because it was pouring out rain and uh, yeah, it's kind of like falling apart. But let's open this box up and see what's on the inside. Oh, this is a different kind of box this month. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at this. It's not the pink box. It's just like a, a cute little artistic kind of box. This is nice and it says glossy box i see like a different color ribbon on the inside we're doing glossy box first obviously oh even the inside it says antonio on the inside maybe that's the artist and it's called the secret garden everything in here is so cute i don't want to open it yet okay and this is the inside it matches the lid and everything exactly perfectly so i'm going to open the little ribbon So here is the box here. Every box has a liquid liner in it this month. I did Ipsy and Birchbox, oh no, Ipsy and Sephora Play had a liquid liner in there. And this one too, this is from Model Launcher. Brows Taupe. Oh, this is not a liquid eyeliner. This is a brow liner. I can't open it because I can't figure it out. Okay, so it looks like this, like a regular pen light. Oh, I was not expecting that. This is just like a pencil, but oh, I can't wait to use this. This is so cool. Um, so it's like an angled pencil and it's not very soft, which is good. So you have to use some, um, what do you call it? Like you have to press on it to get some color off. So that's good. It's not gonna like um, completely fill in your brows all the way. That's pretty cool. And then on the other side, it's supposed to have, yep, a little spoolie on the other side. I had to adjust to get the junk out from the background because I'm sure you guys don't want to see the junk. And then we have from EB5, which is a great skincare company. This is a daily repairing eye cream, firms and moisturizes and reduces dark circles. I'm almost out of the current eye cream that I'm using right now, so that's awesome that I have another one. and. I can't open it because, you know, I can't open anything today. Very nice packaging too. Let me see the texture of this one. I, no. This is almost like a whipped kind of a texture. And it has really no scent, which is nice also because scented stuff kind of irritates your eyes and stuff like that. Well, mine. Next we have a Manu Spa, from Manu Spa, Rosewood Revitalizing Mist. Uh, for all skin types. Let me see. I don't know if I'm going to like it on my face or not. Oh, this is very like, very earthy, very woodsy. It is very refreshing though. Rosewood revitalize. That's really nice. Oh, I really like that. That's awesome. That's really, really nice. Initially I was thinking, I don't think I would like that scent on my face, but that's really, really nice. I would like to have that in my um, diffuser, this scent. This is a really nice. I'm going to have to get me some rosewood. I would have... Mm, nice. Okay. Um, next we have from Lyrock. Dema Colorant. Oh, where's the English version? Because I'm completely... Um, yeah. Mm, Uh, I can't find English. English? Okay, it says it's a micellar cleansing water for face and eyes. It's hard to read because of the way that the bottle is and the liquid inside the bottle, but that looks pretty cool, huh? I haven't used any micellar, micellar water yet. Very nice um, light floral scent. Very light scent, so that's nice. And then lastly in here, this is an eyeshadow stick, it looks like, because it says twist eyeshadow. This one is, says Volcanic Minerals Twist Eyeshadow Intense Color, 24 Hour Wear. I'm guessing the name is Corez. I'm not sure. Um, it looks like a black, like a black gray. Hmm. I wonder if this will be good to put like underneath the eyes and how well it will stay. Let's try it out, shall we? Let's see. I always put um, shadow under my eyes, so this is like a 
eyeshadow without the brush. I always use a little brush. That's nice. So that is a really nice box from um, Glossy Box. I forgot the name of the box for a second. So let me just give you a quick peek of this. All right, so moving on to BoxyCharm. Let's open this up, and it's really heavy this month. I don't know what's in it. I have not been keeping up with anything. What is this? Pure, the Complexion Authority, double the fun, 25% off your next purchase on their website. Um, Camp Glam. Camp. Summer's over, people. But that's okay. All right. And there's a lot of stuff in here, a lot of wrapped up stuff. I think it's really important stuff that's it's wrapped up. All right, the first thing I'm gonna pull out is this little thing here. It's called Lip Lure, Hydrating Lip Lacquer from Pure Cosmetics. So, let's see. Oh, nice packaging. Fiery, what is this? Okay, so it's not two-sided. This is the little twist up side, whichever side. And then this is the color. So let's see what color it is. You know, I was about to twist it all up and see the color, but honestly, I seriously doubt that I would use this type of a color, so I'm not even going to twist up this liquid lipstick into the, the top because that's really not my shade. So I'm gonna pass on this one and you know maybe give it to somebody, put it in a swap or something like that. All right, next in here is from Hair Gert strawberry banana hair mask Ooh, it sounds awesome because it's a strawberry banana oh it's completely sealed up you know what but i need something so i'm going to open this one up i'm really hungry right now my stomach i don't know if it's because it said i said the word strawberry banana but i'm like really hungry oh my gosh that smells awesome <sighs> What is up with the, okay, there it goes. That was so weird, huh? All right, so that is an amazing scent. Uh, it smells like, it's probably very childish, childish smelling because it, it does smell very sweet and candy-like and I like it, I like it, I like it a lot. Okay, lots of bubble wrap, that's pretty nail polish. Oh, it's a Butter London polish and it's beautiful. It says lift to open, okay. Um, this one is in the shade Yummy Mummy. This is beautiful. I think I'm gonna take the polish off I have on my fingers and put this one on. This is so pretty. This is just like a very neutral, really beautiful shade. I can't wait to put this on. I don't even know how to describe it. It's a beige. Next we have a palette of something, I think. Oh, cool. This says, it says Miami, Paris, London, New York, Stockholm, Dubai, Tel Aviv, studio makeup on the go eyeshadow palette. I didn't know we were getting an eyeshadow. Oh, my favorite colors. They're my favorite colors. I love this. How awesome. This is like for sure. Like if I go somewhere, this for sure would be the perfect thing because it's really small and it's got like every color I always use. They read my mind. I know some people are kind of sick of seeing neutrals all the time. What is up with, with the, I'm changing the color. I don't know what's up with this. I feel like I look very orangey today. I'm using it, does this have a, a mirror on it? It doesn't, darn it. I was gonna look at myself because I'm using, um, I'm using um, in the Ulta haul I got the Shoot, what was that stupid thing? It was a foundation that when you put, uh, like the little stick that's inside is like a doe foot applicator, but huge Clinique, something Clinique, I don't know what it was. Anyway, so that's what I'm using today. And I did use a little bit of the Urban Decay um, Stay All Day, a little bit in some other areas because that shade from the Clinique is a little bit tan for me, um, but I used it anyway. Um, anyway, so. Let's see how a couple of these shades are. Oh, geez, Louise, that center shade is beautiful. I don't know if there's names of these shades or not, and to be honest, I don't even care. 
but gorgeous. I just, I just don't know what to say. It's so, they're so pretty. You gotta see this. Did you see the colors? My gosh, that center shade right there, which is like this orangey coppery color. Oh, I can't wait to use that one. That's like, that's so me. That's so me. Hmm. Uh-oh. I'm gonna have to use some of that micellar water in <laughs> in the glossy box to get the stuff off. It doesn't want to come off. Studio makeup on the go. What is this? I've never heard of this studio makeup. It's not studio. Or, or, no, that I'm thinking of something else. I don't know. Back in the day, I had tried some kind of makeup brand from studio. I don't know if it's the same as this one, but it was not good at all. And this one is awesome. Holy cannoli. Okay, there's one more item in the box. This is from Hikara. Hikara? I think that's how you say it. And let's see, what is this? Oh, it says an eyeliner, and it's in Raven. So this is a black um, mechanical pencil. And let's see if it's going to stay. So we'll, we'll check that out in a second. Okay, so this eyeliner... Um, it does smudge. You may have to put like a shadow on top of it to keep it in place. The eyeshadow, the twisted shadow, once it's on, it's staying put. That stuff is not budging off at all. So that is pretty awesome. That's really good because that means it's not going to smudge off throughout the day. That's fantastic. So both of these boxes were really good as well, but obviously I am in love with the eyeshadow palette in the BoxyCharm. The Butter London um, Polish, the Lip Lure I'm not going to use, the eyeliner from Hikari I probably won't use either because it smudges and I'm just not into, I'm, I don't have time for that. And then the hair uh, mask, I'm definitely going to use that. And over here, the eye cream, I'll use it, that um, shadow stick, I'll definitely use that on the lower lash line for sure. On the lids, I'm not sure because it's kind of dark and I don't normally put dark shades on my lids. Um, however, you never know. And the brow pencil, I'm excited to use the micellar water. I'm about to use that right now. And the facial rejuvenating, rejuvenating spray, amazing. So both boxes, pretty awesome. Um, I just am so in love with that eyeshadow palette over here. So what do you guys think? Such a good month for beauty boxes. Every beauty box that I think I've gotten this month, yeah. Even Birchbox, if I'm not mistaken, was pretty good. So Birchbox, Ipsy, um, Sephora, and both of these boxes, I think they were all awesome. So an excellent month for beauty subscriptions. And I've seen other subscription boxes online. It seems to be the month of amazing items. So hopefully everyone else lucked out on their boxes and they're just as happy as I am with mine. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you so very much for watching and I will see you again in another video. Bye.